All right, guys, come on. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at my YouTube studio. More importantly, my workflow. We're also gonna jump into the game room, but we're not gonna be talking about my gaming setup. Again, we're just gonna be focusing on my workflow, my YouTube workflow as far as in the studio and what I do over there in the office. You all know me, I post a lot of videos and I like to make things simple, quick, easy, all in all, productivity. I focus on that a lot, right? I want it to be simple and how can I get it done easier and quicker, right? Talking about that fits perfect with the sponsor of today's video, Elgato. And no, I don't have to sit here and plug products because you use tons of Elgato products that you're going to be seeing throughout here, right? You're going to be like, all right, I understand now, right? One other thing, I'm filming this with my iPhone 12 Pro Max, which you might be catching me looking over this way instead of right into the lens. This is the first time I've ever filmed with this. I got a wireless mic right here and my iPhone, and we're just going at this straight up. So again, sorry if I'm looking over here instead of into the lens right here. But anyways, let's go on and jump into the studio and check this out. Again, game room, office over there, which we will jump into there shortly, but more importantly, the studio first off here. Let's go on and flick our lights on, fan is already on. Let me give you a back shot here, and you can just pretty much see. We're gonna talk about everything though. Anyways, let's jump in here. Talking about making things simpler and easier with me using my iPhone, I was using this DGI or whatever gimbal. Yo, no joke, these things are incredibly hard to work. I couldn't figure it out. Anyways, I wanna show you over here first off, right? This is like my hub over here. We'll talk about all this, but anyways, the hub. A um, iMac M1 Air, nothing fancy, just basic M1 Air uh, iMac here, but it's really my hub for my studio. I swing it over here, I have a stream deck. I don't stream, but again, paired up with the iMac over to here. Let me pull you in if we can get some focus on that. Really not picking it up. But anyway, you see I got key, I got hue, all of my hue. I got all of my adjustments over here, right? So anyways, let me pull you up here real quick. This is the Elgato, right? Elgato key light, Elgato key light on Elgato arms right there. Let's come back down here and look. Bam, you saw it brighten up. So I got key, bright, dark, warm, and what do you call that? Brighter, wider, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, coming up here. So now, let's zoom out a pinch here. You see my key lights are up, right? So now I can pull them just by using the stream deck. Bam, and I make them darker. And then I can pull it up, again, pending how I want my products to look. So if I'm looking over here and I want a nice dark shot, bam, it can look like that, pull it down. Want it a little bit warmer, I can do it like that or pull it out a little bit brighter. So right there, right out the gate, one of the key components of my setup is the key light, key component, key setup, anyways, you get it, right? Is the Elgato, again, the stream deck, right along with the key lights right there, just like big time. You can look right here, if I got my set right, so I'll pull it down, it just changed it. I'm horrible with lighting. I still struggle to this day with lighting, right? But you can just see, it changes quite easy. Now you gotta adjust that and then into your cameras. The other thing I wanna show you while we're looking right here is, so you see I got my cluster of just random stuff. You know, I, I got some uh, grills. You need your grills, I got one up there and then one up there, uh, just some products I really like, right? And then back there, if you can see right here, I have some hues, hues, that's so weird to say, is it hue or hue? And I also have that controlled by the Stream Deck as well. So I can just click hue, bam, come back up to that setting, and you see I have it all lit up now. And I also have all that controlled with the hue as here, as so I can change it to white, neutral, and then I got a color cycle. So if we come up here, I can just press, I think it got red, green, and blue. And again, it just makes it so simple. A flick of the button, and I change it right to what I want. Okay, so let's get into cameras here, right? You see, I got a lot going on with cameras. I run three cameras here. And no, you don't need this to film videos or whatever. You can use your iPhone just like we were using. So back here, I use a Sony a7 III. Over there, a Sony a7 III. And then a A6400, I believe. Something like that or no, that's pretty much my top down right there. Um, I got the Sony lens, I'm not sure which lens, links for all this stuff down in the description. My basic Sigma lens is what I use for my uh, face. That's the camera that's pretty much just right on my face all the time. That one over there, I use the Sony macro and that's what I use for close up shots. So let me show you from this angle, right? So this is kind of a camera's view angle. Now, I don't have a camera, man. It's just me standing back there all the time and then my setup rolling. So camera one, that will be camera two, and this is camera three. I've been trying to get away from camera three and get away from macros, right? But anyways, this is how it looks right there. I have camera two has a mic as well. That's linked just to that, like sound test and stuff like that. And there is mic one. 
again on an Elgato arm. This guy I have on a big rolling, rolling arm right here, if you can see down here in my mess. But again, that's how it is. Now flipping it over and getting the front view, again, you're seeing all the cameras. Again, one, two, and three over there are lights, our mics, and then our table. This is what I'm pretty much looking into. And then I have three monitors. I have a monitor for each camera. Camera one, camera two, and then my macro. So they're kind of routed right to each other. So I know when I'm looking at this camera, bam, I'm looking at that uh, monitor. When I'm looking at this camera, bam, it's that monitor and, and yada yada right there, right? So it's very simple. You know what you have right there. Also, if any of you are curious what my monitors are on right there, you can see I got it latched right to the table, one for all three, and then I can adjust them. So if I move my table down or up, I can tweak them how I want, or if I adjust the cameras. Same with my macro camera. I can just pull this out, adjust it, spin it around. It's on an Elgato arm right there, actually, that just attaches to that. So I can tweak and move that as I want. Same with camera B. I can spin it, I can move it, I can pull it up and pull it down. However I want, all the stuff can adjust very easy. You know what? I totally forgot to talk about my table. As far as my desks, every desk over there, the B-roll, this one, or even the ones in my office, they are all flexi spot. I got some sound dampening under there as well, but I use all electric desk. Now the regular desk is this little white deal up here, but I switched over to this just to give my videos a little bit more texture. It's like a butcher's block from Lowe's. I think I need to put some, uh, what do you call it? Some of the stain on it or something? Cause it's getting scratched up. If you know what I'm supposed to put on this, please let me know down in the comments. Cause I have no idea. But again, this is from Lowe's, a big, huge, thick butcher's block up here. So maybe we'll start some uh, cooking videos. So again, looking out like this, when we first came in with this whole hodgepodge of stuff going on, it's all to make it simple. It's all powered up. I go on here, grab my remote, press record, and we're making a video then we go to edit it right now i did used to do it a lot different right over there where i have those lights on with the adjustable desk which by the way this is also an adjustable desk here we can go up and down if need be but anyways i used to shoot the b-roll i used to be really into shooting b-roll like just about every other youtuber right but that just honestly wasn't me i mean yeah those videos look gorgeous and everything but i like to go more or less that raw approach again i come in here I talk about a product, you know what I mean? Like the exact same if you guys were just sitting there across from a coffee table at a shop or a, you know, whatever, we'd be talking the exact same and that's how I make my videos go. You know, just come in here, press record and talk about the product that I have been using. Not really commercial style. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. Yo, that is overkill. I don't have money for that. That's expensive. And yeah, that's a lot of money on cameras and gear and just a setup, right? which it is. Now, I had one camera and everything else. I've told you guys before, the money I earned from YouTube, I invested back into the channel to try to make it better, the quality better, and the productivity, the simplicity. I have these three cameras. Why do I use three cameras, okay? I come back here, bam, fire up the hub on the MacBook, get the lights rolling, come in here, and I press record on my remote. And when I press record on this remote, all three of those cameras fire up at the exact same time, my monitors are on, and I just film and talk. Y'all know I don't script. I press record and I sit here and most of my videos I can do in roughly around like four clips, whether it be the top down and stuff. And I go in there, chop, 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 put it together and it's done. All right, so now let's drop it down a little bit and see what we have underneath here. So I have my chair, which I use quite a bit, just sitting in videos. If I know it's gonna be a longer one, I like sitting in a chair. Over here, I have a monitor because in the other room we're testing a current monitor right now. Back here, hat rack, a couple headphones I'd use just for styling, but coming back down here, again, we talked about the Elgato Stream Deck. I used the Wave XLR with the Audio-Technica mic. I used to use it for Technic Talks. I've kind of stepped away from Technic Talks a little bit. It uh, you know, wasn't really catching on much, so um, I'm trying to utilize my time a little bit different, talking about productivity, but I love this setup with the Wave XLR. Turns pretty much any little mic into a... Uh, XLR mic into like a USB mic, very simple. Now coming back over here, we talked about the hub, we talked about the Mac, right? Um, again, my speaker over here to just throw on some jams whenever I'm getting set up or whatnot. My remotes for that light in the back over there. This is for my fan, which fan? It's a uh, Rowenta, it's so quiet. I've searched high and low for fans to work for my videos and the Rowenta has been the best. Oh, this remote, this is for those lights. And I have another one over there there we go and that just shines back onto the setup a little bit right there we're going to leave those on right this remote okay 
So you see right back behind me? So we got the red coming up now. Now if I press this, my press, oh, I got the remote upside down. Bam, so that's probably gonna brighten up and I can change the temperature, everything, the brightness, all of that just by a flick of this button right there. And now if you get that back look, now you're probably seeing how it looks a little bit more in the videos. We got the hue on, we got the back white lights, and then the red lights kind of creeping up back there. And again, all by a remote, I can change the temperature of those, the side lights, and then the hue just by a flick of the button. All right, so let's look in this mess of drawers here. We'll start on the bottom. These are again gonna be pretty much everything for videos. As you see, I have scales, I got multiple. I got like three scales, some rulers, some tools that I use whenever I'm taking apart products, keyboards, whatever. A couple little lights. These are pretty nice for little backlights or whatever. I don't use them quite often though. Electric screwdriver down here. Again, just tools and stuff. I got a uh, little sound checker. So anyways, that's just tools. Up here is video stuff. This little deal that can roll the camera. This is pretty much stuff I used to use when I B-roll. I really don't use any of this anymore. Just like you know, tripod arms and stuff. I really don't use that stuff anymore. So let's just like going straight at it. Coming up here, we have band-aids because you never know when you're gonna get injured on a job, right? Um, switch pullers, tape measures, temperature checker, pliers, paint brushes, pretty much the random junk drawer. Don't lie, you know we all have the random junk drawer. Now bringing it to the top right here, my sound dampening, I have my foam and those little insulated pads. I mean, it's decent, it's not great. I still have like the nine foot ceiling, so it's still quite echoey. Over here, you can see I have all these deals, which I can pull down backdrops uh, for like thumbnails, the green, the black, and the white, whatever I want right there. And then over my B-roll section, I have some more of those uh, tiles. They're all falling off, because again, I never use it. But again, with these nine foot ceilings, it still uh, becomes a little bit echoey in, echoey in here. I gotta work on that. All of my audio is ran right through the Deity mics. They're just 3.5 mics. I don't record my audio on a different uh, format or a capture thing, whatever. It goes straight and records into the camera on SD cards. Again, simplicity. I don't like multiple recordings or multiple things to clip and cut. I want it all together. Coming over here, I got a little bit of uh, dampening on the window going out there. And then up there, I have some more pull downs, which is black and white, which was again, pretty much for the B-roll section over there, which I just don't use anymore. Now over here on this shelf, well, first off, you see this fan, guys. I swear by this fan. If you do any content creation, like you come down here, like and it has this whisper quiet. I mean, it cranks up really big, but really big time. But even back here on whisper quiet, when I stand back here, it's just a nice breeze because all these lights on and cameras running, it can get pretty spicy. Anyways, besides the fan, Back there is just a bunch of products I have pending. I got like down here, I have two custom keyboards, um, another keyboard project, tons of mouse mats, which sometimes I use for um, backdrops, my mouse pads that I use regularly, pending videos like keyboards, uh, earbuds, uh, a lot of pending stuff, a lot of it I never get to but sometimes I tend to put the stuff right there and just forget about it, right? Up here are B-roll props. Again, I never use them anymore. I should take some of those and kind of dress up my backdrop right there. My next setup and my new house is getting built. I won't have any of this. I got some ideas. Anyway, so that's that. Some more dampening foam, uh, more mouse pads up there, uh, razor box. Over here, I have a turntable, which again, I love vinyl and playing music, but I revert more to the digital. Again, it's just quicker and easier. Sync it up, pair it up, and start jamming, right? So anyways, that's that. Now back in here, as I showed you guys with the closet, ah, oh, you can't even see in there because we're blocked by the stinking fan. Anyways, let's see, what do we got? A bunch of keyboards, uh, film stuff, mic stuff, and then extra camera junk. I'm gonna try to get you guys in and see. Back there, which you probably can't even see, is where I have tons of lights back there. All right, so that's the YouTube studio, the filming room right here. I'm gonna take you over to the office and talk about that as well, but just rehashing what we just looked at in the studio here. If you've caught on, everything's controlled by a flick of a button, right? The worst thing about content creation is set up, tear down, and just get into it, right? Me personally, not scripting, just going at my videos raw. Like, I'm testing the product, which you'll see over there. I come in here, set it down, and just start talking, right? Uh, my wife gets mad about that. Why don't you schedule, you know? It's like, nah, I just, I just go with it. When I feel good and I'm excited about this product, it may not be the hottest product, you know? But when I'm feeling excited about it, 
I bring it in here, I press record, and I start filming. Everything's set up by the flick of the button on the Mac, and thanks to the Steam Deck and all that stuff, it's simple, it's quick, and again, it's easy, guys. It sound like that manager you have at your job, but seriously, no joke. I'm all about that productivity. All right, so let's go and get out of here, close this one down, and then we're gonna go right to the other room next to it. So again, this is my YouTube studio. This is my game room or office. Simplicity, right? Right next to each other. Okay, so anyways, let's go on into here. We got this one fired up because I've been in here. Now I'm gonna give you that straight up raw shot, right? Every, you see on YouTube, everyone has these gorgeous, clean setups. Not me, not me, right? Let's just scroll into here like this. This is stuff I've been testing, just kind of thinking about, wrap my head around, seeing if I'm gonna cover it or not. New Zowie mice, uh, Cooler Master keyboard, some drop key caps, Corsair mice, A50s, just stuff I've been dabbling with, right? Uh, LG 55 inch 4K 120, her TV, I don't know the model number, but look how thin that sucker is. Ooh, it's nice. So now that we're in my office slash game room, again, we're gonna be focusing on my workflow here. And the one thing you're gonna notice about this is it's pretty much the exact same style and mindset as you saw over in the YouTube, the studio, the filming room, right? I want things right there, quick, easy, and just simple to use. Maybe a little overkill, but simple. All right, so starting over here at my main PC, which I keep down on the floor right down there with some of the worst wire management you have probably ever seen. Again, I don't mess with it because I'm swapping products out constantly. It's just, I can't maintain it, right? Because I'm testing products. I call this like the workbench, right? This is my gaming PC, uh, GMMK Pro, uh, G604, because I've been playing a lot of New World. This is a BenQ monitor. I'm testing review coming soon. Back over here, let me squat down a little bit. You can see it down there. I use a Steam Deck Mini, which controls my hues back there. If you can see them flicking on and off, there we go. Again, a flick of the button, I can pull right up to YouTube, and then my record. I have my screen capture button right there. Curve monitor light, all controlled right by the flick of the button here. My iFi Zen DAC, I stink and love it. Using some Audi Easy, I'm actually in the middle of testing those, along with the A50s right up to the Elgato Wave uh, 3. Is that right? Am I thinking about that right? And back there, you can see a bunch of headphones. Uh, forget the name of those. Back there, I have some more Audi-Easy, um, Bayer Dynamic, Audio-Technica, Black Shark V2 Pros, another BQ, uh, BenQ Ultrawide. This is one I've been maining lately, uh, right there, but I'm just testing this one currently. And again, my other headphones and stuff, and then some keyboards. I don't really swap keyboards much. I've been loving the GMMK Pro, and then the um, Maya Pro, of course, always. But again, this right here, the core of what we're looking at right there is where I game, and then of course over here with all of my consoles. But that's where I'm testing products. Like right now, I'm testing one, two products right there. Just wrapped up that one over there for the mice, right? Switch OLED over there. But again, this is like gaming. It's just straight up raw, as you saw down here with all this stuff over there, and bam, right there. It's, it's, it's a workstation. And even over here on my console setup, as you see, I got the Switch OLED PS5 and Series X for gaming and testing and whatnot. If you can look past my mess again up here, um, you notice I have the A50s here, and I also have them over there. A review coming on soon, but again, it's so nice to be able to swap it from there to there, which we'll be reviewing and talk about. Again, simplicity, multi-platform. Form, right same back here with the elgato 4k 60s plus i love this thing right for capturing whatever console down there you come over here it records by sd card press a button that is it it's so easy and again it's from sd card and we can take it over to the max which i'm about to show you so again like a lot of times you see youtube setups and they look gorgeous they got this rgb they're clean they got you know it's like this is raw, this is how it is, at least for me, because I don't just pop products out and talk about them, I use them, I wrap my hat or head around it, right? It's gotta excite me for me to get into the studio and talk about it. And when I'm ready, after using that product, I'll take it, again, go in there, power up, press record, and get at it. So some of you may be like, yo, this is messy. Again, this is more than a game room, it's a workstation. All right, so talking about me filming and getting at my videos in the real raw in the moment, right? That's exactly what we're doing here. As you can see, I'm working on this video. We're filming right now. Kind of weird. It's like 
in time. I don't know, it's crazy. Anyways, some of the clips when I was coming over talking about the mic or the Max, my mic went all sorts of crazy and the volume just cut out for some reason. So anyways, I'm running straight into the iPhone with this new lav mic here and hopefully this works. Again, this is first time for me. Talking about first time for me, I need some help from you guys. I'm editing some clips and I'm noticing it's real grainy. Is that just an iPhone thing? Like it just can't handle the light or something like that? The low light situations? I don't know, let me know down in the comments. But anyways, over to my Mac setup here. You're seeing I have two Macs, right? Two iMacs, decked out iMacs. These are not Best Buy purchased iMacs. I ordered these straight from Apple. Updated graphics, updated RAM, updated processor on both of them. The store-bought ones are decent for just basic work or school or something like that. They're decent. You know, you hear a lot of people going to Final Cut Pro and they go to Best Buy, pick up a Mac, and again, it's decent. It's a good, it's a good computer, but it's not great. When you want something really tank to work with that, you go into Apple and you, you customize one as far as your graphics and all that stuff, and it, it'll handle anything you throw at it. So why I have two? I know that's the question you're asking, right? And both of them are upgraded, customized, right? This one over here, as you see, I'm working on a video is straight up Final Cut Pro. I dabble with um, thumbnails on it as well, but straight up Final Cut Pro. By the way, you're asking what this is white behind there or why that's red. Behind it, I have a calendar and then my uh, board of products, some embargo stuff, so I had to cover it up. Anyways, back to the Max. So this is just straight up videos in Final Cut Pro, right? It, it has a lot thrown at it. Down there, I keep my videos stored on hard drives. I just swap them out when they get full. So again, my work Mac. Over here is, I guess, also a work Mac or, or a productivity Mac. I don't know how we want to put it, right? You see, I got my video rolling I just uh, posted, so I can reply to comments, take a break from this, and I have that going over here, or research stuff, or whatever it may be, rather than having multiple things running in the background. And this one kind of bogging down. Video uh, editing takes a lot of power from your PC, right? So I don't want five other things running while that's running and just kind of bogging it. I have them both set right there. I got keyboard and mice for both of them, a uh, Logitech MX, a uh, Death Adder over here, and Corsair Saber RGB. Down here, I have Razer Blade 17, which is what I use. It's pretty much that on a go, right? Because that Blade 17 decked out 3070. I can test products. Say if I want to go in the living room or into the bedroom, just get out of the office. I'll use that. The other key thing about having two workstation Macs, again, that are decked out to what I need, it, yeah, it's great being able to, you know, reduce some of the strain off one to the other to be able to work like that. But the other thing is peace of mind. If something ever happens to one of them, which we know PCs, they get hiccups, right? If something happens, I have a backup. It's never going to slow down. It's pretty much just the exact same thought process behind uh, the camera setup. I had three of those cameras, right? Everything's right there for me to use, which is the key point. But also, if something ever happens to something, I got a backup, right? It's like a spare tire on your car. You're still going to be able to keep going because you have that other machine, camera, tire to keep you going. Quick side note that I forgot to mention, which is really awesome about this. Again, talking about my workflow, how I had the... Uh, MacBook Air, the M1 over there, the two Macs here, and then my iPhone, well, that I'm filming on right now. So like right now, I'm gonna throw this footage up onto that Mac where I'm working on the video. And the cool thing about it, even talking about the Mac over there, say if I do a mic test for a headphone, I can just airdrop everything from that Mac, bam, right to here. Uh, a thumbnail, drop it from here to here. Or from my phone, this footage, I'm gonna drop it right to that. Again, guys, you catching a vibe through this entire setup, it's simple, everything's right there, and it's quick and easy. And then if we just slide over here, well, we got our lazy boy to game on or whatnot, but if we slide over here, not really work-related, but you all know I love music, so again, I got some speakers, a receiver, Audio-Technica turntable, and my vinyl collection right there. I need music in my life, guys. It just motivates me, it makes me think, get a little more creative, and everything just comes together with music. As cheesy and corny as that sounds, but I'm a big music nerd. All right, so there we go. That is my YouTube studio, and then my workflow, my office and game room over there. Again, the core of this was me wanting to show you really my workflow, how I make it happen. I, I know I sound like that manager at one of your previous jobs or whatever, right, about productivity, but I like things to flow, I like things to be easy, and I like everything to be right there. Again, with the sponsor of this video being Elgato, it's so simple. I, I can't stress it enough, guys. I know it's a sponsor, but it, it's so easy. Like if you're ever thinking about content creation, it's just 
you get this stuff, just do upgrades as you go. Don't go out there and spend 5,000, 10,000 bucks on equipment, you know, just little bit by little bit. And it just makes everything so much easier. I wish I would have done this in the beginning because you can see videos from then and videos from now and I still have lots to learn, but Elgato's make it, made it so easy. Again, same with my Apple Eco, Apple ecosystem, a little bit of a twister there, right? I love how everything's just synced together and works together. And again, guys, productivity, simplicity. I like it to be right there, bam, hit it, get done. Go hang out with my son and my family and get out of the office. You know what I mean? Just get out of the office. As much as I love this, I love getting outside too. You know what I mean? So anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by and joining me for this video. I hope it helped you out if you're looking at a, you know, maybe a setup or something like that. You know, I know a lot of people are like, yeah, I don't want my setup to look like that. That's a chaotic mess, you know, but, it, but it's really not. It's kind of jumbled, but we have everything right there and just simple to use. So hopefully you can take something away from this. Uh, if not, hey, just try to get a little more productive. Trust me, it's going to make your life so much easier. But again, thank you so much for stopping by and watch this one. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.